The city of Charleston has narrowed the list of candidates for chief of police down to five. Today, those candidates met with city leaders, community members, and the media to talk about why they're the best fit for the job. Our Molly McBride spoke with each candidate and tells us about their vision for the department. Each candidate I spoke to has their own unique vision for the future of the department. But one thing nearly everybody emphasized was the need for engaging with the community. Robert Bage, who currently serves as the Fort Walton Police Chief, says he wants to build on Chief Luther Reynolds' legacy of community-oriented policing and focus on mental health for both citizens and officers. These are opportunities that you cannot waste to engage in the community. So I think that's one thing I'd really like to bring up here is that we should waste no opportunity to engage the community. Shante Boston, the assistant chief of police at the Sun Prairie Police Department, says she also wants to focus on community policing, making sure to look at each individual in the community as a human being. I'm concerned about every aspect of you as a human. Everyone is, as, is a human, and I do believe that although we're the police, we're still responsible for making sure that everyone is not only safe, but everyone has a great life. Jason Bruder, who currently serves as commander over the Community Oriented Policing Division at the Charleston Police Department, tells me he'll focus on issues specific to Charleston using technology to help policing. Focused on that community aspect. How do we how do we implement body worn cameras and all the other technology that's out there into our responses and, and really try to make sure our officers are going to the calls they need to be going to. The interim police chief for the Charleston Police Department, Cheeto Walker, says he plans to build on Chief Luther Reynolds legacy by focusing on community engagement and continuing to grow the skills of the officers in the department. We have to educate ourselves. So education is a big part of that. Um, training, you know, best practices. Um, looking at what's happening around the world and taking things that we could use and disregarding things that wouldn't fit our community or culture. And Jack Weiss, the current deputy chief of police at the Charleston Police Department, says Chief Reynolds opened his eyes to public engagement policies, and he believes building on that will help combat the opioid and homelessness crisis. He opened our eyes to build on our engagement strategies. Um, I've always felt that that was one of the biggest things was to engage with our folks, to be open and honest with our officers and, and those that you know work under myself at the police department. City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg will get recommendations from city leaders and community members. After that, he'll make his own recommendation based on that information and take it to city council for approval. Reporting for Life 5 News, I'm Molly McBride.